Welcome to Holland, Michigan, USA, known for its Dutch heritage. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Holland. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Holland, Michigan, USA. Population around 35,000. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled Holland. Holland is 30 minutes from Grand Rapids and an hour and 20 minutes from Lansing. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Holland. People of Holland because of Holland State Park. Holland, Michigan enjoys one of the best locations on the coast of Lake Michigan. It's such a coveted location that a section of the coastline has been preserved as a state park. Holland State Park just happens to be one of the most visited state parks in Michigan and it's all thanks to the gorgeous beaches. Holland State Park has two beaches, one on Lake Michigan and one on Lake Makatawa. In addition to the beaches, visitors can use the campgrounds, concessions, playground, paddle rentals and the miles of trails that weave through the park. If you can stick around the park for sunset, it's completely worth it. Ottawa Beach overlooks Lake Michigan and is known for its spectacularly explosive sunsets. Standing on the banks of Ottawa Beach, it's easy to forget that what you're staring at is in fact a lake and not an endless sea. People of Holland because of Windmill Islands Gardens. You can't have a mini Holland without the windmills, so you can bet that Holland, Michigan is sure to deliver. One of the best things to do in Holland is to visit the Windmill Island Gardens. The Dutch inspired park is wonderful for getting out on the walking paths, slipping outside the busy city and experiencing nature. Windmill Island Gardens is one of the best places to explore for the city's Dutch heritage. It features one of the last working windmills that was allowed to leave the Netherlands. In 1964, the windmill was brought to Michigan and is a highlight of the park, living amongst 36 acres of gardens and natural areas. If you're wondering whether the mill still works, the answer is yes. The mill is still in operation and grinds grain into flour. Visitors can take a tour of the windmill to see it in action. Among other attractions at the gardens are an antique carousel, a working street organ, 15,000 tulips that bloom in late April and early May, themed holiday plantings, and replica structures of Dutch buildings. People of Holland because of the Sagatuck Dunes State Park. The dunes along Lake Michigan are one of Michigan's best hidden jewels. Undulating sand dunes roll for miles along Michigan's west coast. When visiting Holland, one of the best spots to see the dunes are in Sagatuck Dune State Park. The state park has 2.5 miles of Lake Michigan shoreline, which are veined with rolling scrub brush covered dunes. In addition to the dunes are 13 miles of hiking trails and the 300 acre Patty Burkholz Nature Area. If you want to hike the dunes, the park has four trails that lead over the dunes to Lake Michigan. Another way to get up close and personal with the dunes is to take a dune ride. Visitors can sign up for Sagatuck Dune Rides for a 40 minute tour up and down the dunes in an open air vehicle. It's a thrilling and unique way to get to know the dunes of Lake Michigan. People of Holland because of Nellis' Dutch Village. At Nellis' Dutch Village, historic traditions are kept alive. Step back in time more than a century when you hit the red bricks of this historic theme park. The theme park opened thanks to Henry Nellis who emigrated to America in 1910. Eventually he and his family made their way to Holland, Michigan where they opened a tulip farm which brought tourists to Holland. The theme park lives to keep the history and culture of the Netherlands alive. While strolling the streets, visitors can discover a historically accurate village, rides and petting zoo, restaurants and souvenir shops. The village also has activities from wooden shoe carving to photo opportunities and Dutch dancing. People of Holland because of Tunnel Park. Once you arrive at Tunnel Park, its name will become quite obvious. The way to access the beachfront park is through, you guessed it, a tunnel. The tunnel burrows underneath a towering sand dune and opens up to the scenic shores of Lake Michigan. The park has 22 acres of Lake Michigan beachfront and is a popular place to visit for swimming and sunbathing. In the fall, it becomes a wonderful spot to peep the leaves changing and catch a glorious Lake Michigan sunset. Other facilities include picnic areas, two picnic shelters, 
volleyball courts, restrooms, and concessions in the summer. A staircase leads to the top of the dunes and has a beautiful viewing platform which makes for a great panoramic view. The park is open from spring until the first snowfall of the season. People love Holland because of Mount Pisgah Dune Boardwalk. For the best view in town, you'll want to experience Mount Pisgah Dune Boardwalk. This meandering boardwalk and stair system climbs 157 feet above Lake Michigan with its apex offering sweeping views of Lake Makatawa, the marinas and Lake Michigan. The trail is an outback wooden walkway that winds through the forest and eventually up Mount Pisgah. It's an easy climb for almost anyone. It takes about 12 minutes to complete the half mile walk and you'll find ample parking not far from the entrance to Holland State Park. People love Holland because of Veldeer Tulip Garden. Close your eyes and just try to fathom six million tulips. Six million is a staggering number, so try to imagine the explosion of color that comes each spring from the six million tulips that bloom in Veldeer Tulip Garden. You might start to believe that you are actually in Holland. Vern Veldier started his tulip garden in Holland, Michigan in 1947 with 100 red tulips and 300 white tulips. Since then it's grown to become one of the top tourist attractions and most colorful places in the country. Tulips bloom around mid-April and finish around the end of May. This window is the absolute best time to come see the rainbow of colors that rises from the green fields outside Holland. People of Holland because of Colin Park. Overlooking the Makatawa River, Colin Park has a lovely promenade that has wonderful views of the water. Residents and visitors consider Colin Park, just outside of downtown Holland, to be one of the city's most beautiful green spaces. In addition to the boardwalk, the park has a boat launch, playground, and picnic shelter. You can stop by the Carretero Fountain, which was given to Holland by its sister city, the city of Carretero in Mexico. An immigrant statue is a gift from the Netherlands. The park is hopping with activity year round, but one of the best times to visit the park is during the summer when it hosts outdoor live performances at the Bandshell. People of Holland because of the Outdoor Discovery Center. Take a deep dive into West Michigan's natural beauty with a stop at the Outdoor Discovery Center. This nonprofit outdoor education center provides visitors and the community with programs and interpretive exhibits to educate about the natural environment of Holland and the surrounding area. The Outdoor Discovery Center sits on 130 acres with nearly five miles of walking trails to explore. The center is home to 12 different species of Michigan's birds of prey. You can visit the DeWitt Birds of Prey Center to learn more about these species, which include owls, hawks, falcons, eagles, and vultures. Among the programs offered at the Discovery Center are summer camps, school programs, guided hikes, and much more. People love Holland because of Centennial Park. Perhaps the prettiest place in downtown Holland is the Victorian era Centennial Park. Stepping onto the leafy brick pathways will really feel like you've stepped back into the 19th century. The park is a 5.6 acre space that sits on where Holland's original marketplace used to be. It was redeveloped to be a park in 1876. Today it's brimming with flower beds, a gazebo, a Dutch fountain, and a fish pond. You can also visit the Veterans Memorial, which is a Michigan historic marker that honors the Dutch settlers in Michigan. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love Holland. If you've got a reason why you love Holland, pop it in the comments section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now!